If you're having visions and dreams that come with love from beings that aren't human, then, you're, then that is your confirmation that God is with you and you have spacecraft that will beam you up and take you to the new world. That's your invite. Start looking up at the sky. And look closely because those are not stars up there. Have no fear and trust in God. Don't listen to the negativity from the demons that call themselves human beings. Negative thinkers regurgitate negative words and phrases, so the aura around them is negative. If you are in contact with them, you come in contact with their negative energy. Trust in your heart and the love from God that came in your vision. If your vision or dream had no love, then it had no God. The Illuminati, they have these psychics, these uh, channelers, these black people that do black magic and like magicians, witchcraft, all that satanic shit. That um, they can, they also have these uh, negative non-human beings that help them. And they can send you these, uh, these visions that um, they can appear to be anything in your mind that you have it depends on what they want from you if they want you know they'll put that image in so anyway if if your vision or dream does not have love then it wasn't from God because like I said when I went to heaven love was everywhere and demons cannot duplicate love you won't feel it because they don't know what it is it was love everywhere so and you'll know it You'll know it, and that's why I say trust in your heart, trust in God, trust in your heart, trust in your vision. You'll know God when you're. You'll know when you're in the presence of God. You'll know. So these demons, they can duplicate it. They don't know how to. So that's your confidence. That that's how you know. That's how you know the love and trust in that. Don't listen to no one else. Trust in that. Surely. When I first had the vision, I made a video and told God and told you God is here and came to me and I talked about how we need to be more compassionate and more human. Then I started noticing the same craft from my vision was following me. I kept playing back the vision in my head and I knew I had to put emphasis on the fake alien invasion that I witnessed in my vision and spoke about in the first video. So I made another video telling you about the vision and showing you the videotaped of the spacecraft in the skies. You can see me, the moon, and the spacecraft in the same frame. After doing some research, I was able to find out the being or goddess in the spacecraft. The Buddhists call her Ryusa Kenan. She was the godly being in my vision that went past like that. So I make a video, so I made a video about how I researched and found out her name and other information. Now that I have most of the pieces of the puzzle, I'm able to bring it to you all in this one video. This video will document my rapture so you know what to expect if you receive a vision. Then memorize it because it may only come once. My vision was like a puzzle. God or Goddess never spoke a word to me. I was shown the confusion and fear, then taken to heaven, shown and felt love, then I wake up. There's more to it than that, but you know, I'm just, you have to check out the first video to, you know, be prepared because lights are on now everything's fine but it doesn't it, it can change just like that so you need canned foods and I'm gonna tell you you should get top ramen noodles and I'm gonna say that because <clears throat> you can just soak them if there's no hot water or anything you can just soak them in cold water and um, open up a canned food and you're okay for a couple of weeks if the get uh, if whenever that they turn the electric on if it gets turned back on but you will be prepared. Anyway, um, I had to keep going back to my vision and found out what else did it mean. Oh, to find out what else it meant. And I found out that the Supreme
knew that I had to deliver one more video to humanity first because what I learned is not what is being taught in the church or in the mainstream of society and the people have a right to know the truth. Everything I witnessed in my vision and the craft I videotaped are true and you can hear my voice in the background of all my videos. Every vision is customized. Every vision that you... I don't think you will get my vision or I will get your vision. I think they're all customized. Um, you have to interpret with your own heart and mind and your own judgment. Beware of other people and negative thinking. They may tell you you're crazy, but keep looking up in the sky because you may have spacecraft waiting to pick you up and take you to the new world. These craft will not take you without your consent. It's all about free will. So you have to pray first and tell God you want to come up. You have to prepare your mind for leaving this planet, your friends and family and your possessions. You have to let go of everything you know and possess and become an empty vessel. No negative emotions like hate and anger, jealousy and lack of compassion. Trust in your vision and the love that came with it. Hold on to your faith and trust in God and remember the love that came with your vision. Don't listen to negative thinkers. Most of them live in a negative state of mind and they will only see your vision in a negative way. Some people won't be able to see the craft in the skies, even if you're pointing it right at it. That's because it's only for you to see, and it's your free will to ascend or go up in the craft. This evil system called society releases movies to get you to fear non-human beings. They also have television programs, commercials, you know, just it's to affect your mind. Anything that affects your ears, music, your eyes, um, movies, uh, television shows, they even had some, um, uh, some kind of carnival thing or amusement park with the alien type, uh, theme to it. Um, especially in Halloweens and, I mean, come on, they, they, they're just, uh, really want you to fear non-human beings because, and they're giving you no information about it, but yet and still, you're coming out. Uh, thinking that they're demonic or some kind of evil beings, you know, which is crazy to me. Why would you, if you have no experience, why would you, in these beings, why would you voice your opinion or believe something that uh, you know to be, you don't know if it's true or not, but you believe it. Why, you know, I was filming these and uh, a few people, uh, one guy, the Texas minister, I don't know if it's male or female, Texas minister, twice sent me an email saying, um, you're talking to demons. You talk no one ever says why they're saying this. They're just telling you know, I'm supposed to believe that? For what? You won't even tell me how you believe it. And um I have experience with these beings and believe me, they're not demonic. Like I said, they could have if they were demonic, it's a whole bunch of things they could have done. Um the church has people believing that any and all non-human beings are demons. Society doesn't want you to think outside the box. They want you to be a misinformed slave and a victim. That's just the way that society is built. They have us, um, you know, like I said before, doing these, you know, going to work and pay, 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 pay. You know, everything's based on money. Anyway. About a year or two ago, I began hearing lovely music in my head. At least twice a week, I would hear this music for about an hour. It was amazing to hear and experience it. I don't know if that had my, if that had anything to do with my vision, but I thought I would mention it in case anyone else have experienced the same thing. Another.
but they have no soul. You can have the same thing, plus keep your soul, plus be off this planet and living in a better environment. It all begins with you and the goodness that's inside of you. I also want to prepare you for the potential of isolation from family and friends. That's if you have a vision. My family and so-called friends have abandoned me because they think I'm crazy for talking about spacecraft and positive non-human beings. <clears throat> they won't answer my phone calls. I had nobody to talk to about what I was going through, but the positive thing from that was that I didn't have a bunch of people telling me what my vision meant or how they feel about spacecraft and non-human beings. It was a good thing and it was a bad thing. You know, I mean, um, I do like my privacy, so you know, it didn't really, uh, didn't really make me feel negative if you don't answer my phone calls. I mean, hey, we all have a life to live and we all uh, make our own decisions. So um, I take everything positive from that. And like I said, the positive from that, from not having no one, um, is I can talk to myself and I can talk to God and I can really get a clear interpretation of what I'm experiencing without any uh, anybody's interpretation to cloud it all up. So that was a good thing. It was really a positive thing. The only bad thing about it is, like I said, I left my business. Um, I had a fitness company, a fitness manufacturing company. We manufactured a fitness product plus a mountain bike. I gave it all up. And that's not all. I mean, I gave everything up. You know, uh, I'm an empty vessel. I don't um, don't watch the television, don't drink the water. I don't get those flu shots. Nah, I mean, I'm disconnected from society, you know, and um, especially my emotions. With all the things that I went through, I have no animosity towards anyone. I have nothing but love in my heart. You know, I mean, I spoke about getting rid of my company. Um, yeah, I had no one to get because I don't have any family and friends. I mean, they all, uh, they won't answer their phone calls. So imagine this, uh, I got a company sitting out here. Any of you could have had it. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, free fitness stuff. You know, fitness bike. I have it all around me and it's, it's, have all this material and I give it away, credit cards, give it away, you know, um, don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it, anyway, um, so I'd like to, oh, okay, I was telling you about, okay, I'll say it again, so all the info you get here came from my experience, oh, I was talking about, um, how friends and family have, um, because they think I'm crazy, they don't answer my phone anymore. So all the information you get here came from my experience and what I videotaped and witnessed. God also guided me towards certain information. So I like to thank all of my old friends and family members because without your interpretations, I was able to gather this information without prejudice and negativity. God bless you. Another thing I want to mention is after your vision, you should not eat any heavy meats like beef and pork. You should eat chicken, fish, fruits and vegetables, and plenty of drink, pr pr plenty of water. Also, get rid of any fear. All those things, you know, when you're beaming up, it'll, it'll. Did I say it here? When you're being craft, yo, when you're be, when you're being beamed up into the craft. And also get rid of any fear when you're beaming, when you're being beamed up. All any fear if you're being beamed up in a craft. How your diet and your how your heavy diet and your fear will make it a bit uncomfortable for you when you beam up. Also keep in mind that human beings are both positive and negative beings. And although most non-human beings are positive and are full of love, not all non-humans are that way. So if you're having what you think are rapture visions and dreams, make sure you felt love. If not, that dream or vision might be a might be just a regular dream or a deceitful vision. Um, please be very aware of that because um, you know the Illuminati have psychics. They have people that do in black magic, and they can don't want you to get paranoid. But if you don't want people to know, if you can't see, I have protection. Uh, and um, thank God I had that protection because it was some, it could have been very scary knowing uh, what these people are capable of doing. But like I said, I held on to that 
um, to what God said, do not fear, I am with you. And when God at first put that in my head, I had transferred it to you because I thought God was t telling it to me to tell to you. But it wasn't, it was for me. Because it was, uh, what they do is, um, you know, you have no idea what they, I mean, phew. These people and the technology that these people have, they are way ahead of you guys. But my friends up there, they have some, and they, their technology make us look like the Stone Age. So, um, like I said, when I was filming these craft, I felt very secure. I mean, I had the best security on the planet, better than the president, because you couldn't see it, you couldn't, and then, oh, the technology it was amazing. But I did, I had to hold on to what God had put in here, and that was, do not fear, I am with you. And I didn't fear. So remember, if you get your vision or when you get your vision, um, make sure it has love. Make sure it has love because that's a telltale. God, these demons, if they bring you a vision, these people that work for the government, the Illuminati, if they bring you um, a vision, they can't duplicate love. They cannot duplicate love, and that's the key. So remember your vision. Keep it in mind. It may be a puzzle. Because you're not going to get a vision and God's going to say, oh, no. Nah. And God's not going to talk to you. You know, it, everything's in, you have to be a thinker, you know. And um, what I know for me, like I said, all um, visions may be customized to every individual. So that was mine. I had to think. It wasn't just a, um, it wasn't just, you know, A, B, C, D. It wasn't in black and white, you know. It was um, something I had to uh experience and work out I'm not 